one of the things we do as people, we're very social, obviously, very social animals. One of the things we do is attribute mind states to each other. Uh, and in particular, we attribute awareness to each other. We're built to do this. We're very good at this. This is what makes us successful as a species. Uh, and one of the side effects of being so good at that is we tend to attribute awareness not just to ourselves, not just to other people, but to everything. I mean, we attribute awareness to uh, pets, of course. People attribute awareness to their plants. Some people talk to their plants. Uh, who hasn't gotten mad at their coffee machine when it doesn't work right? Uh, children attribute awareness to their toys. Uh, and I think we attribute awareness sometimes to empty spaces. Uh, I think everyone's had the experience. You're in an empty house, it's at night, and you get this spooky sense of a person in the next room over. Right. This is your brain, the, it, the social machinery in your brain, constructing essentially a model of another person and another person's mind and attributing it to that space over there. We do this at, at the drop of a hat. And uh, this, I think, is the basis for human spirituality. It's basically a, a very exuberant social attribution, attributing mind states to trees and rivers such as in animistic societies or to the universe as a whole uh, or to um, you know the, uh, the, the intention and awareness that maybe lies behind all the otherwise inexplicable events in the universe all of this is exuberant uh, attribution of awareness <laughs>